Massively multiplayer online games on consoles have been hit or miss. However, Tom Clancy's The Division comes along and brings something fresh to the game space. Tom Clancy's The Division is a third-person massively multiplayer role-playing game developed by Ubisoft. The story is set in New York City where a biological weapon has been unleashed and has left the city a wasteland. You play as a division agent who has been activated along with many others in the city to bring order to the chaos. The story progresses in an unorthodox way by unlocking the mysteries of what happened by picking up cell phones, laptops, etc. Also, there are devices called Echoes lying around that are a virtual reality looking glass into the past. While it was interesting to see the world in a different way, I felt that this was all supplemental storytelling. I would have preferred a stronger narrative than was tied to your character personally with more cinematics. The visuals in the division impressed me. Most MMO's graphics are never their strong suits because of the accommodation to the large amounts of players that inhabit their worlds. However, the division took great strides in making the city of New York come to life. All of the landmarks are there, detailed meticulously compared to their real life counterparts. The weather system is dynamic. A few times I was caught in the midst of a blizzard. Night and day cycles switch up the look and feel of the city. The various zones in the city all feel different with their own flair. Indoor environments amaze me with the attention to detail. New York has never looked better in a video game. The Division combines two popular genres together, shooters and RPGs, and makes it work. On the outside, the Division looks and feels like a shooter, allowing you to get in and out of cover, aiming down sights, and dodging grenades. However, on a closer look, you'll see that the RPG elements are actually heavier than the shooter elements. You progress through the game by leveling up to get stronger. Leveling up allows you to wear higher grade gear and equip more potent weapons. Gear in the game has stats that will modify how you play. Weapons all handle differently and special weapon talents come with higher quality guns. You can also swap out abilities for a character on the fly which can drastically affect the playing field. You can further personalize your playing style by pairing your abilities up with talents and perks. The mission as a division agent is to take back New York City. The first thing you do is set up your base of operations which is your home. At the start of the game, the base is in shambles but throughout your adventure you will slowly upgrade different parts of it. Your base includes three wings, tech, medical, and security. Upgrading your base of operations is how you gain more abilities, talents, and perks. Your base includes vendors as well as a crafting station to create powerful gear and weapons. I really like the base of operations because every time I logged in I felt like I was working towards something lasting. To level up there is a multitude of ways to gain experience. First off there are encounters which primarily provide you with resources for three wings of your base of operations. There is little story in these and such activities include medical supply drops, finding virus vaccines, and infiltrating criminal strongholds. Next are events, which are side missions which provide you with blueprints that you can craft with. These side missions can include claiming bounties on high priority targets, as well as finding out about the outbreak by searching for echoes. Finally, there are the missions. These are how the main story progresses in a division. They also happen to be the most diverse type of activities in the game. Objectives vary from the most in missions and they provide you with great gear as well. I found that the encounters and side missions were too repetitive for me. I understand that all MMOs have grindy parts, but I wish there was more substance to them. While The Division can stand pretty well as a single player game, the game really comes alive when you play with others. At any time in the game you can jump into a party with a friend and tackle the same encounter events and missions. However, arguably the most ambitious part of The Division is the Dark Zone. This is a player vs player vs NPC combat zone where anything goes. You have a separate progression bar called the Dark Zone Rank, which will allow you to loot different level of loot crates. The loot you get however is not instantly tied to you. You need to extract your Dark Zone loot from an extraction point in order to equip it. What makes this difficult is that all players can kill each other and even steal loot. I really enjoy the Dark Zone as it is a great risk reward system that can be intense and gratifying. Outside of the Dark Zone, you never see other players unless you are in a group with them. This to me makes the world seem much smaller. It would be great to see others tackling similar objectives. After reaching a level cap at 30, there are a couple activities to do. Endgame as the game stands now either revolves around daily missions or the Dark Zone. Daily missions are the missions that you have completed before, but are raised to a higher difficulty level. You will need a group of players to tackle these and it will reward you with Phoenix credits to buy gear. Also, the Dark Zone is a great place to secure high level gear. 
But don't be too greedy because other players can be trigger happy to take away your loot. I will admit that once I hit level 30, I lost a lot of my motivation to play the game further due to the lack of compelling end game. However, more content is on the horizon, such as incursions that were announced for April to add challenging PvE content to the game. The Division is a game that has been in development for over three years and had a lot of hype surrounding it. Throughout those years, the game has undergone a great deal of changes and iterations. While the game may not have exceeded my expectations, it builds upon what it promised us. A great MMO on a console that is both a shooter and a fairly deep RPG. Sure, the game may have its problems, but MMOs are constantly evolving. I look forward to see where this game will be six months from now, a year from now, and beyond. I reviewed Tom Clancy's The Division on Xbox One, but it is also available on PlayStation 4 and PC. What did you think of my review? Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up symbol if you like the video. If you like this video, you might want to subscribe to my channel where you find other reviews such as my review for Dragon Age Inquisition. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at StarAfter and like my Facebook page at StarAfter. Thank you for watching and bye bye.